More Glam Shop? Yes, please. <laughs>Ashley welcome back we're back we're having another party yes because the last party of the glam shop which was the swatch party of all the glam shop shades I picked up did so well and that video did just amazing so thank you so much and I am back today with some marble shades so people ask did I pick up the new marble shades yes because I'm a sucker for glam shop at this point I admit I am addicted to the glam shop Poland. I have no problem saying that <laughs> at all. The shadows are just simply beautiful. But before we get started, if you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're an oldie but goodie, welcome on back. My name is Ashley. I have a doctor in pharmacy and I love makeup. So that's how you get Dr. Ash and her makeup and eyeshadow is really my jam. And that's what we're talking about today. And yes, I'm so excited. Like I said, woo, it's a party. Yes. Woo, yes. So, <laughs> the Glam Shop, <laughs> let me let me calm down for a second. The Glam Shop actually released about 16 new shades. So most of them are marble shades. It's a little different formulation. And then we also have some new turbo shades. So you can find the shades right now on their website. And they retail about $5.06 each. And it, sometimes they have some sales or different promotions. So even though Glam Shop is a Polish company, I found my shopping experience to be so easy. Like I mentioned in my previous video where I'm able just to like flip the website into the country Australia. And therefore the words are in English. And the dollar amounts are reflected in euro. So if you have like a currency translator or converter on your phone, you'll be able to figure out how much it costs in USD. And like I just mentioned before, the shades are running between about five to maybe seven dollars USD. So I didn't pick up all the marbles but I picked up the ones that interest me the most and so let's see I have two, four, six, eight, ten. Let me show it to you a little bit better. So I showed you guys the mats that I had before up there. We did a swatch party the last time if you're interested in seeing it but we're going to focus on these beautiful babies right here these beautiful tin shapes. So what I thought I would do, because you can see how it looks on my arm, but because these shades are marble, I thought that we do eye swatches. So eye swatches are totally not new over here on YouTube. We know that Miss Shay XO, XO honey, hands down. You are the eye swatch queen. And it is simply genius how you came up with that concept. Uh, my friend Yachty Beauty and Beauty in the Friends have recently did eye swatches uh, with some other palettes. So these shades are super special. They have a lot of pigments. So I'm going to do swatches on my arm. But first, we're going to focus on the eye swatches just so you can see what they look like when you get ready to apply them to your arm. So what I think I'm going to do, what I did realize, I have worn one of the shades before. So what I realized is that even when I did my last demo, glitter glue is like really great for these shades because even though they're not glitters and not pressed glitters, it just helps all the particles and all the shimmer just adhere to your eyes and makes the shadow so opulent. Not to mention, you don't need a lot. So your finger is probably best and then go ahead and blend out with a brush. Otherwise, you're probably gonna get a little crepiness with the marble shades. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do in um, saying rest in peace to my eyelids, I think I'm going to just go in with my Juvia's Place Primer on this eye. This is the shade number two. This is their new primer that just came out. And then on this eye, I'm going to use Glitter Glue so we know what the shades look like. So you can see the impact of not having Glitter Glue or having Glitter Glue. And I think the Glitter Glue really makes the shades just really pop. The Glam Shop does have their own eye base. It's kind of like a glitter glue. So the next time I make an order, I do have a cart built right now, but I have not pulled the plug because I, I don't need to. <laughs> so I'm, I'm trying not to pull that plug. So I do have it in my cart for the next go round. But let's go ahead. Let's get into these eye swatches because we have some work to do so i think let's see we have the ears inspired from miss beauty and the friends she gave me these Kara. so let's go ahead i'm gonna pull you in closer let's go ahead and get started all right so i brought you in close so for the sake of the demo i'm gonna show what this primer looks like 
and you only need oh already you put too much <laughs> I'm gonna blend this out <laughs> so you can just see what this primer looks like and this is their new eye base primer so first up we have the shade affair this is what she looks like and I'm just gonna use my finger Like I say, you do have to be careful because these shades, because they're marble shades, they do have a little bit more texture. So that is a fair on the primer side. NYX Glitter Glue Primer. So see what I mean? It's just like, well, you kind of get that base underneath there. So it kind of changes the color because it's a lighter shade. But with this glitter glue, I just feel like it picks it up so much better. That shade is actually really, really stunning. All right, so something I totally didn't take into consideration is that this primer by Juvia's Place, although I do like it, is considerably lighter and it totally changed like what this shadow looked like. So I'm just gonna go in with my eye primer by Urban Decay. Um, this is the shade Caffeine, what I always show you guys. And I'm going to use this primer because it's actually my skin complexion. So it won't alter what the shade looks like on my complexion. Not that it didn't look pretty on that, but I was just like, dog, those are two totally different shades. So just going to go ahead, blend it up, and then with the next eyes, we'll get rolling. Once again, we have the shade Affair. So I just told her, I was like, it just kind of totally wiped out what that shadow look like. See, he looks totally different. <laughs> and I just wanted to make sure you guys knew and I wanted to be totally transparent about that. And one area I feel like you do have to be careful with is this area right here where you can kind of gather a lot of texture and then in the corner just so you guys can see I'm gonna go in with a Builder Pro by Sonya G just to pick up that shadow and then so you can spread it around later on but it's just best to get it on so here it is on regular primer and here it is with the glitter glue both are really beautiful shades but I feel like you really see what it looks like with that glitter glue you definitely get those blue purple reflex the shade is gorgeous this is the shade of fair all right so next up one of my favorite shades fashion for success this shade is gorgeous And just in the inner corner, I'm going to take a little bit on the brush. Just so you can see, but they definitely, I think the finger is the way to go. And then take your brush to manipulate. It has a beautiful gold shift. And that is the primed eye. All right, the eye with the glitter glue. See? Oh my gosh. And I just am taking ever so small amount on my finger so we don't have excess shadow and don't have any creepiness. What? Like this versus this. That's the primer. Still very beautiful, more toned down. Boom, opulent, gorgeous. 
gold. It even pulls out the green reflex that are in there versus this one. Next up we have the shade Alexis. And this is literally all I'm taking on my finger. And this is a gold with a blue base. All right, same shade on the glitter glue primer. <laughs> you know what? Like, let me tell you. <laughs> Cannot. It's just so much more opulent. And you can see I'm just taking very small amounts because this will help not get all the texture. This shade is gorgeous. It'll be a gorgeous smoky eye definitely see how it looks on my crease bone. Oh my gosh. This is the shade Alexis. Primer Glitter Glue. Alright, next up we have the shade Original. Primed eye with regular eyeshadow primer. Ooh, this is really pretty. Oh, I think I didn't realize how Pretty this shade is. This is gorgeous. I'm starting to get glitter and a little bit of fallout everywhere. So I just definitely recommend you doing your eyes first. But that shade, oh my gosh. I'm gonna go in with just a hair more. This shade is really 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 pretty I with glitter primer <laughs> like every time I come over here with the side with glitter primer I just get so blown away wow the shade original next up we have the shade Mariah Shade. I'm pretty excited to see what it's gonna look like. Ooh, so pretty. Ooh, this is like mermaid's dream over here. This is so freaking pretty. All right, with glitter primer. Mm. Here is Mirage. They're both, I mean like on this particular shade, like they're both equally as beautiful. I think this shade looks the best when it terms, comes to like the glitter primer or either just regular eyeshadow. Next up, we have the shade Scandal. Ooh, I'm really excited to see what this is going to look like. I think it's gonna be really pretty. Side with just eyeshadow base. Ooh. Very goldenly orange lemon shade. Ooh, and it's very pretty. It has a lot of shine to it, even on just the regular primer. I'm very interested to see what the Glam Shop primer would be like. Sorry, side with glitter glue. Mm. So beautiful. You can see like even more reflex with the glitter glue side. I think with 
that's why you do have to be careful. Get some of the chunks out, but holy cow. It is insane. This is scandal. Oh my gosh. All right, so next up we have the shade Nightmare, and this is the Primed Eye. This color is gorgeous. So this one definitely has a deeper base than the shade Alexis. Okay, if you guys hear sirens, I will try to edit that out, but apparently there's a lot going on outside. I do live by a fire station though. It sound like a couple of ambulances, a couple of fire trucks. Hmm. This is gorgeous. This would make a great smoky eye as well. Wow. Like you just literally do one shade. Let's see what it looks like if I was to blend it out. I'm just going to take a Sonya G Blender Pro. Oh yeah. Honey, this will work. Shade and uh, nigga, like, what did you use? Mm -hmm. and this little shade, boom, <laughs> it's done. <laughs> you know, oh, that's pretty, super pretty. I feel like you spent a lot of time, but you did. All right, going in with the glitter primer side. They're both very, very pretty. Both sides, like. I'm just gonna bring this one up higher too so we get some of the same effect. Gorgeous. I mean like, so freaking pretty. And I'm just going to blend that out. So, I mean, like, honestly, you do have to be careful, though, if you blend it out, that because it's the marble shade, like, you get those smoother chunks out. Gorgeous, just just gorgeous. I officially look like a mess, but it's cool. <laughs> Ooh, okay, after that shade, I had to pull myself all the way together. Okay, so we're almost there. Three more shades to go. Next up, we have Illusion. This is going on just the regular eyeshadow primer eye. Ooh, this is beautiful. It's a nice taupey color. Now with glitter glue. Mm. This shade is really, really pretty. But I really like how it looks. I think this shade actually, Illusion. I actually like it better over just the primer. But it's still very pretty with the glitter primer. but I do like the shade better with the actual primer. Next up, we have Fortune Teller. Now this is not a marble shade, but this is one of their new turbo shades. Oh, as you can see, the application is a lot smoother. And this is the eye, which is primer. Ooh. Very pretty. Now this one, you could probably get away with just using a brush. Gorgeous. Mm. On the side with the glitter primer. Just as gorgeous. 
it just grabs onto that glitter. And I think with the glitter primer, with this one, you just have to be careful, you don't pick it up. So where it's not looking opaque, but you can definitely get it. I don't know how they do it. And these shadows, I mean, they're just so smooth. Like, you would think they would be gritty and everything, but they're not. Okay, we got one more shade to go. All right, guys, last and final shade, because my eyelids are like, <laughs> and believe it or not, my eye with the glitter primer is doing better than the eye with the regular primer. So we have, this shade is called Number Party 1008. This is what she looks like. So go ahead. And this shadow is very, very smooth. Ooh. I don't, I wonder, was this a turbo shade? I don't think, I don't know if this was a turbo shade, but it's really pretty. It is gorgeous. All right side with the glitter primer. I mean, I really want to know what their base is going to do because I heard their base. It's just fabulous. This is gorgeous. So this is the last shade. Oh, this is so, it's subtle, but it's so freaking pretty. Let me see if I can like hook this up into a look for you guys, cause, ooh Lord. Let's see, I'm gonna pop it into one of their mattes. Let's see. This is all for you, cause Lord knows. My eyes are like, ma'am, ma'am. What are you doing? I'm gonna put the names down below. This is gonna be like the messiest look I've ever done, but it's all for you guys, just for you, okay? This shade is really smooth, so I know it'll pick up really well with a brush. Just gonna go back and, you know, Hook it up, fine tune it. Okay, and then I'm gonna pop some of Original, one of the marble shades. Try to use this as a little in a corner action. So see how it looks? See, it's pretty flaky. You gotta press in with that brush, so. These two shades together, you can't really tell different so it's really looking for a little bit more pop. Let's use a little bit of skin. There we go. Did you see what I mean? They could be rather flaky if you use this particular formulation with a brush. Okay, that shade is this is gorgeous. I'm gonna try to smooth it out. Which is, I try. I know most people do like banging looks after they do eye swatches, but look. I'm gonna go in with a little Pat McGrath eyeliner. This is extreme black. All right, let's grab a little mascara. Ooh, this is like the worst look I've ever done. It's not that it looks bad, it's just it turns the presentation. At least they waited to like the last shade to fall apart. <laughs> I'm gonna take a little concealer <laughs> and then we're gonna pull out and be done. All right, <laughs> I survived the eye swatches barely. <laughs> the last the last part almost took me out the little demo. But I mean, if it was executed correctly, this look would be cute with a little bit more liner, a little more deepening in the outer V. But I wanted to see how these shades paired well together, you know? Um, but they're really pretty. So as you can see, when I used it with a brush, it was very flaky. So that's why I said finger, so it can warm up and just kind of tap it out. Like I said, I do think that these shadows really shine a lot better with 
that um, glitter glue or maybe even their primer or the Too Faced glitter glue. On the primer, they're pretty, but they don't, they just look okay. They lose a lot of their oomph, but these shadows are so special. You want it to come across. So I feel like the shadows are really, really beautiful. The shades I picked up, I really love. The only shade that I was like, eh, was maybe Illusion. This is Illusion. This is the only shade that I actually like better over a regular traditional eye primer. So, and also I feel like you do need to be careful depending on some of these shades, like the first shade that I showed, the first shade of Fair, this shade, and then maybe um, this shade Original. You do have to be careful because the type of eye primer that you use will drastically change the color of your shadows. So um, when I used the shade Affair, which is the top one that I'm holding right here, it was really pretty, but you could see a lot of that lighter base peeking through versus when I had the eye that was just strictly glitter primer, you can see more of the purple shift and then the blue reflex in it. So you do have to be careful about what type of eyeshadow base that you're using. But overall, I feel like the marble shades are really, really gorgeous. They're really pretty. The price point is great. I think if you do the UPS, UPS shipping, it's even better. Um, you're going to get them pretty quickly within maybe like a week and a half to two week time span. And the thing I love about the Glam Shop is like they're so beautiful, but it's like you don't really have to wait a long time for these shades because this is something that's in stock, unlike most indie brands that I've been ordering from lately, where it's like a pre-order, you got to wait two or three months just for the product to even ship out to you, where this is not the case. If something's out of stock, they'll let you know it's out of stock. You can get an email notification when it comes back in stock and you can go ahead and order. The only thing that you have to do is just wait because I live in the United States versus people who live in Europe and I've been finding that a lot of people who watched my last glam shop party with the swatch party they say like the shipping is excellent if you're living in Europe you can use the regular shipping or you can use the UPS and they get their products really fast so with that being said I hope you guys really enjoyed the eye swatches I'm gonna go take this off my eyes are like girlfriend no ma'am Mm -mm, no, no, no. So I don't know how <laughs> that girl Shay XO does it. Like, whoo, baby, I bow down to you because, mm -mm. so I thought that this was the perfect shadows to do this with so you could really just see the colors, but I can't tell you when I would do something like this again. <laughs> so with that being said, let me know down below. Are you still thinking about these shades? Have you picked up any of the shades that I showed to you the last time? Let me know if you tried the Glam Shop. Let me know down in the comments. Give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because you know I would love to have you here in my little makeup family. And with that being said, you already know what time it is. It's time for the chair dance. Chair dance. Hey, hey, hey. Chair dance. Mm, mm. Chair dance. Mm, mm, mm. Bye.